beautiful people welcome back i'm so glad that you were here welcome to a full day of undecorating <laughs> hi coco all of our halloween items we are only going to keep a few select things out for fall uh so uh let's get started so first i'm taking my fuzzy pillow upstairs and my cat eye mask and putting that away then i always put away all of my little light up necklaces and then I put my ears away and then of course it's really important to have a screwdriver and thanks you guys okay let's play nice okay all right so let's get started we're gonna just keep a few of the fall items out including I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this garland up but we're gonna go ahead and undecorate all of this. I cannot actually wait to get all of this put away. We have quite a bit of candy left. I had a lot of trick-or-treaters, um, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't run out of candy. And so we're definitely going to keep this. And then we do have our screwdriver, and then this is just, we're gonna place all of our batteries in here. We are again using the screwdriver to get the batteries out. Why on earth anybody came up with this concept is beyond me. So next up, we're going to grab all of our pumpkins and I place them in the jumbo bag because I literally would probably use about five boxes. And I kind of just go around the house and grab all of the pumpkins and place them in here. And I really do like the pumpkins that I can plug in with a cord because I don't have to take the batteries out. <laughs> so it's always a good thing. So yeah, I just go around the house and grab all of the pumpkins. And of course, guess who I found? So I was trying to use one of my garbage bags, but I had to end up going and getting one of the jumbo bags to put the big pumpkin in. And actually, there's a lot of room, so we're going to place Jack in there. And Sally. And we're going to put Zero on top. So that probably would have been like four boxes. And now we're going to go around the house and I'm putting all, most of the Dollar Tree pumpkins into the huge pumpkin container. So we're going to go in the other room and there is a ton. And I actually thought I was recording when I was originally putting this together. I was on the fence about keeping these because um, they were used as a filler, but I just just decided to go ahead and keep them. And again, we're going to use a jumbo bag and put this in the bag. Guys, it saves so many boxes. And we're going to go ahead and place some of the stuff that was on the mantle. And that sunflower, I've had it out forever. And so it's time to be put away for just a little while. And now we're going to take down the tedious lights. And we're going to put them back in their plastic bag. And we're going to take down our little skeleton garland and lights. And we did keep the box. So we're going to go ahead and place them back in the box. There was actually some of the lights I didn't even use. So we'll use them next year. And more lights in the front. We're going to put all of the lights in one box. And I'm going around the house and grabbing all of the Dollar Tree items and just kind of you can, just kind of tossing them in the box. I do like to keep all of the Dollar Tree items together. I was on the fence about a lot of items and the ones I was kind of iffy about, I just went ahead and kept them, but I did get rid of a lot. This is a huge box. It fits a lot of things in here. We're going to go ahead and clear this up. 
I was going to throw away the skeleton, but I didn't. I ended up keeping him. And now we're going to use this bucket. Oh, and we have all of our glass items, and I actually found these two for fall, so I grabbed those out of there. So with the bucket, we're going to go ahead and put all of our Dollar Tree glass items in there. And I really just don't wrap them. I probably should, but I don't. And they'll be safe. They won't get crushed. And some more items in the other room. Just put them in the back of their plastic bag. And they all fit nicely. And the Ray Dunn, I probably should have wrapped it, but I'm going to show you guys how to pack it safely. So I put all the lights in there. And this is kind of like a medium box, but it's deep. And what I decided to do is put a lot of pillows in there. This way you can cushion and you don't have to use um, a lot of the newspaper. And we threw Jack on top. Now we went ahead and kept the orange pumpkin and the sunflower. And then we put away our soap in the cabinet. I like to put it away in the cabinet so it won't leak because I did that one year and it got all over everything and it wasn't fun to clean up. These two guys, they were wrapped so well. They All of these glass items are going in their own box. I just got this from Brandon Rhodes a couple of days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it out. I mean, why not? It's so cute. And again, all of the kitchen utensils, all of my dish towels, and of course the orbs go in their own box. It just saves so much room in your kitchen drawers and your pantry. And now we're just packing up all the Ray Dunn items from our kitchen display, and we're going to put them all in one box. And here's all the cookie cutters because my drawers were just they're just they were just so full and I figured you know let me just do that to clear up some space and all of the Ray Dunn cups do go in the cabinet one of these days I'm gonna run out of room and yeah we're gonna put them all in one box and of course the uh, little walking hand <laughs> has to go in his own box as well so everything will be kind of cushioned, and of course we're going to throw the balloons on top. Why not? So now we're done. I have one, two, three boxes and three bags. Not too shabby. Here are all of the items that I'm actually getting rid of. There's a couple of rugs right here. i just rather get something a little bit more substantial. And I really don't need any more signs. It kind of reminds me of that Geico commercial. And these right here, I mean, they're cute. But to be honest with you, I've never really used them. And then all of these plastic pumpkins. I don't even know what I was thinking. And this right here. And I know we just bought these, but I just don't, uh, I don't know, I just don't want them. And these two, I would rather have something a little bit bigger. Right, Barbie? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna donate actually all of these. I was actually sitting down to edit this video and I happened to go on the iBot app and guess what? You get a free Thanksgiving dinner. So let's get started. So first up, we get the free McCormick brown gravy and then the Idaho mashed potatoes. I know these are in a bag, but they're delicious. And then we get the chicken flavored stuffing mix. And this is why you have to go to Walmart because most of these products are their brand, which is the Great Value brand. And then we did get, we picked the Honey Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. They do have a couple of different options. And then cranberry sauce. Okay. And then to make your um, green bean casserole. They gave us cream of mushroom soup by Camels, and I picked the 98% fat free. And then the French fried onions, and yes, they come in a bag this year. And then, of course, bird's eye French cut green beans. And they also gave us a beverage, so you get a free two liter of Coca-Cola. Now you can either get the regular Coke or the Coke Zero, but I opted to get the 
zero sugar this is a brand new product from coke and you guys it tastes just like coke it's zero calories and zero sugar if you can see that sorry it's a little glary so in order to get your free turkey this year you have to share your referral code and then your friend has to download their first receipt and then you'll get notification to get your free turkey so you guys are welcome to use my referral code which is right down below now this is not free, but I thought I would share it with you guys. I thought this was kind of cool. So we'll see how it tastes. This is green giant veggie spirals. It's spaghetti squash, okay? So now if you eat the whole bag, it's only 75 calories because there's three servings. So I thought that would be kind of cool. And actually you can go ahead and microwave this. So love that. Now this was for free. So this is Kali Power. So this is... Yeah, this is cauliflower made into kind of like a spaghetti. So this is actually free on the Ibotta app as well. So you guys can go ahead and get this for free. And then they have one of these rock stars you can get for free, which I was, anytime they have drinks and I can actually find them, I'm just ecstatic. And then this one is Mountain Dew Rise Energy Drink, Pomegranate Blue Blast. And this is only 25 calories per can. And also they have this Teva tea. Now it's in the refrigerated section. They never have the small bottles. So if you can find one of those, you can totally get it for free. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you will be the first to be notified of my future videos. And please go get your free Thanksgiving dinner for my bada. So, and until next time, my beauties, I will see you really, really soon. Mwah. XO. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um... Excuse me, who's under there? You know, these are the sheets for the birds. You're gonna be full of bird feathers.